In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to fix an error when you import a static mesh and you get this error right here. Degenerate tangent basis will result in incorrect shading and zero binormals. Here I have a 3D model, so I'm going to go ahead and export this as an example. I'm going to select everything, combine it so it's a single object, delete history, then go to file and export selection. I'm going to make sure file of type is set to FBX export. Name the mesh. And for the properties on the geometry, I'm using the standard export options, which are smoothing groups and smooth mesh enabled. And for FBX version, I'm using FBX 2018, which works perfectly. But you can use an older or a newer version of FBX, and it will work just fine. Then hit export selection. Inside Unreal Engine 4, I'm going to go ahead and select the folder I want to import the static mesh into. Click Import, find the exported static mesh, select it, and click Open. The Import Options, I'm going to reset everything to default. And the only options I disable are Auto Generate Collisions, Generate Live Map UVs, and Import Materials and Textures. I usually disable these when I bring in a new static mesh and they don't affect the error that I'm about to receive. These are just standard import options I always use. Then click import. And here's the error. Degenerate tangent basis will result in incorrect shading and nearly zero binormals. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window and you'll notice that the mesh still imported and we can go ahead and use it. But even though the mesh is usable, we do want to fix those errors. And the reason these errors pop up is because of our bad UVs. If I go ahead and double click on the mesh to open the static mesh editor, and let's take a look at our UVs. At the moment, the object has not been UV'd, and these UVs are a mess. And if I fix my UVs, the error will go away. And the reason I haven't done any UVs on this object is I often like to bring in a mesh into UV4 as soon as possible just so I can start placing it and testing with it. And I usually don't do the UVs until later. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this mesh from UE4, fix the error, and then re-import it as a new object. I'm going to jump back into my LT, select the object, open up the UV editor, and I'm going to quickly run automatic unwrap just to get the UVs fixed and to show you that the error will not show up. Now, of course, I don't want to use these as final UVs. But I'm just using it as an example. I'm going to delete history and then re-export. I'm going to use the exact same options as before so nothing will be changed. I'm going to select the existing FBX and just overwrite it with the new exported version. And then back inside UE4 I'm going to import again and then the import options I'm going to keep them exactly the same as before and hit import. And here we are. The error is now gone. So usually whenever I receive this error, when I fix my UVs and UV my object properly, that error goes away. Now if you still continue to receive this error, even though you've taken care of your UVs, then you have another problem with your mesh. These could be options selected during the export and import and they just don't match. Or you might have some really bad geometry that needs to be fixed. So when you export your mesh from Maya, or my LT, the standard settings I use are smoothing groups and smooth mesh. There's another option that you could select and these are tangents and binormals. And this has to do with editing vertex normals for your object. And this is a bit more advanced, but if you export with tangents and binormals enabled, so when you import into UE4, you have to make sure that you update normal import method to match what you exported. And in this case, I would choose import normals and tangents. And again, this is an advanced option. And all you're doing is making sure that the exported version and the imported version match. But the standard normal import method that I use is to import normals, which is the default. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos, and visit worldoflevelldesign.com for more tutorials and exclusive content. And make sure to sign up to get free Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Quick Start Guide PDF. And this is a 150 page guide 
to help you quickly get started learning and using Unreal Engine 4. It's completely free and you will see a link in the description box below this video or if you're watching this on the website, go to the sidebar and enter your name and email to get the free guide. And I'll see you in the next video.